Hi, this is Robin Bremer. .net is my website, and today I had an awesome day yesterday of capturing pictures of the angels in the sky. So today I'm going to share with you some revelations I discovered in trying to make some videos on discovering uh, how to find angels in the sky and how to take some really um, good pictures of those angels. I learned yesterday after taking about 50 pictures of angels in the sky and after doing this for a couple months now I've 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 uh, realized some things that I'd like to pass on to you and and share with you because uh, I've had people say you're crazy they're just clouds and stuff like that but you know what you can if you aren't going to believe you aren't going to see okay <laughs> okay so if you have paper and pen you might want to write some of this stuff down and I'm going to have some of this stuff in my future books on uh, Hidden Angels in the Sky, or Seeing Angels in the Sky, book number two, I'm working on right now. And what that book is going to have, besides the picture, it's going to be how to command your angels. What exactly to say about and to your angels. And so, um, and then the third book, which I'm working on also, will have some other teaching on angels. But anyway, today... I discovered some secrets or some things that might be helpful to you uh, in finding yourself, finding pictures, uh, taking pictures of angels in the sky. First of all, some, you want to ask the Holy Spirit to reveal to you the hidden hosts of the sky. And you have a right to do that because you are a spirit being who has a body and has a soul. And the angels should be supernatural. Uh, the angels are supernatural, but you're supernatural too. You're born again of incorruptible seed in God's likeness. And your home is heaven. You're seated in heavenly places. And so, just like in the New Testament, you should be experiencing the same thing they did. They saw angels. They experienced the supernatural. They did the supernatural. And you should be able to do that too. But one of the things that I just discovered today that I thought was pretty exciting was there are particular places where I travel where I see the host of heaven more often than other places. And one of those places is um, like it's co just coming into Sepulpa, I get a lot. Also uh, coming up on a hill on um, one of the highways, there, there's three in my house. My house, I always sing angels. But there's like three main places that I find are the best places to take pictures of the hosts of heaven. So one of the suggestions to you guys is when you uh, don't just take pictures of the hosts of heaven at your house. Travel and whenever you see something unusual, an unusual shape, an unusual color, just aim your phone camera at the sky and snap a picture. And what happens when you snap a picture, it automatically gets smaller and you can see it better. And that is really a big secret about getting pictures of angels in the sky is snapping pictures and then looking at it while it's two, one inch by one inch. Because as you look at it, it's going to bring it in, the, it's going to bring this huge picture in the sky that is so big that you only might see an eye. But when you take the picture, you're going to see the eye and the other eye and the head, the hair, the mouth and the lips and everything else. It brings it into a perspective more. So take a lot of pictures. I'm starting to, if I don't see, a, even though I see a picture of the host in the sky, I'm starting not to take pictures if the sky is too light. light. That's another secret. When the sky is too light, the white blends in with the blue. You might be able to see it with your naked eye, but when you go to take a picture, and like I am putting it in my books, you can't see it. So I'm eliminating those pictures, and I'm only using pictures where you can really see it. When somebody who's a non-believer looks at the picture and they can say, wow, that, that's something. Those are the kind of pictures that I'm saving for my books now. Okay, some other things are when you are driving or not, I've almost gotten several accidents from taking pictures when I'm driving, so I learned to pull off the side of the road and take pictures. But when someone else is driving and you're a passenger and the clouds are really, um, it's a really bright bluish green sky 
and the clouds are really white, that's an excellent time to, to see the host. I found out that like today, I can tell which cloud banks have hosts in them because the cloud banks that are like foggy and murky and kind of blended together, they don't have no hosts uh, that I can see in them. But the clouds that are sharp and crisp and fresh, you can see the hosts of heaven in them really well. Some other things are when, so you wanna pay attention to the sky that is crisp and clear and bright. And the sky that has a, a, a difference between the white clouds and the blue or greenish black background. That's another way to tell where the hosts are hiding. The other thing is look for particular places if you see a host somewhere, look for more hosts every time you come into that area. Look for more hosts in the sky in that area. If you see cloud formations that are unusual or different, like sharp turns or um, bright colors or round circles, uh, those are like clues that there most likely is a host there and oftentimes my eye is attracted and I'm trusting the Holy Spirit in me because I asked to see the hosts of angels, the hosts and the angels in the sky. So I trust the Holy Spirit that if my eye is attracted to a certain area I'll, and I don't see anything, I'll snap a picture anyway because I can just delete it if there's nothing there. It's not costing me anything as long as I stop the car if I'm driving and take a picture. Uh, but trust the Holy Spirit in you if you've asked the Holy Spirit to see the hosts of heaven hiding in the skies using the clouds as their camouflage then trust the Holy Spirit that if you're attracted to a certain area of the sky keep taking pictures till you see something and just eliminate them at first you might only get some really foggy and pictures and sort of ones that you have to look hard and somebody will say well maybe it is maybe it isn't but the more that you do it the more you practice taking pictures of what you think is the host in the sky the more you will actually see the host in the sky. It's like you reap what you sow. God showed me that the more pictures I take of the host in the sky, the more clearer I see them, the more often I see them. And it is so exciting. It's like a hobby now. I have to, I'm just working on book number two and book number three because I got so many awesome pictures of the host in the sky. So do it over and over. Take pictures, delete them. So look for different colorations in the sky look for different unusual shapes in the sky look for a sky that's crisp and clear with a big difference in the background and the foreground uh, don't on an overcast day it's really hard I mean I see the house in the sky on an overcast day but when the clouds are gray it's really hard to get a picture because they just blend right in and you can't see them very well uh, so it's I've learned, you know, different times of the day. In the morning's really good because that's my time I take communion, time I pray, and time I send the host of heaven out. And and so I like to go out and kind of say hi because I have to laugh. Yesterday I've seen some <laughs> hosts of heaven with like buck teeth, their teeth are out, and they were smiling. Yesterday I got this awesome revelation, and I was sending the hosts out to do stuff. And I went out and I looked and the ones that were there, it was like there was a whole different atmosphere because I got a revelation and the whole different atmosphere outside my yard was amazing. It was different and all the hosts that I saw that day were totally different than the hosts I've ever seen before. So I knew that they were excited that I was getting some revelation and they were excited to be sent out and to do different, different things and uh, so for me, that was a new experience. Um, my excitement of my revelation, uh, I, I, I got a revelation about sending my hosts out uh, about prosperity. And so I think that the angels that were outside my yard, the pictures that I got yesterday were prosperity angels. Um, uh, so I'm really excited as I get revelation, as I get excited that the angels, the hosts in heaven around my house are changed, they're different. They're, yesterday they were everywhere I went, the hosts of angels were smiling. And it was so funny. In fact, you know that little icon of that little yellow circle with a, a dot and a dot and then a smiley face? I have seen that angel. I really think that that icon 
came from somebody seeing an angel in the sky and copied it because I have seen that angel just a smiley face like a round thing and a, a, eyes and then a smiley face I really think so in fact I know that everything oh I see is <laughs> I see I wish I could take a picture while I'm talking to you because there's a really cool host up there looking at me right now uh, but I think what I'm gonna do is when I get a really good signal on a day when I'm not at home and I get a good signal and I see a lot of hosts in the sky I'm going to go ahead and take my camera off my mount here and uh, show you some hosts and talk about them uh, because it's really cool I like that lady on on Kat Kerr's uh, group page who shows videos I think it might be Lisa I'm not sure who shows videos of um, how the the host of heaven oh now there's a cop behind me so hopefully I won't get stopped <laughs> Um, how there there is yeah he's behind me now so um, so he's throwing me all off from what I'm saying um, but hopefully I'll be able to show you the host of heaven in the sky like Lisa I believe it's Lisa does and um, with a camera so you can see it because it's really exciting to be able to do that so anyway um, I want to share those few tips with you and I'll quickly go over real quick Overcast days, it's kind of hard to see the host of heaven and take good pictures, especially if you want to convince somebody that they're real, their edges are not sharp. Uh, overcast days are bad to take pictures because the clouds and the sky blend together. It's also bad because uh, the coloring is not real crisp and sharp. And it also seems like overcast days that the clouds are um, old and and mush together as can co co compared to the crisp sharp clear clouds that have definite edges on them okay the other thing is look for coloration in the sky look for shapes yesterday I got I think the most I had to laugh this was so so cool I, I got a picture and it's gonna be in book number three I got a picture of a mouse with a top hat on and I laughed and laughed and laughed. It was so cool. And you'll see it in book number three. 